In Singapore, there are 11,512,900 broadband internet subscribers as of February 2015. There are three major internet service providers in Singapore, namely, Singtel, Starhub, and M1 and other growing providers like Pacific Internet, MyRepublic, Colt and ViewQuest. Over the years, the Singapore government has been promoting the usage of broadband Internet access, as part of its Intelligent Nation 2015, in 2015 initiative. Internet access is readily available in Singapore, with a connectivity rate of over 99%. Recent surveys have also indicated a significant emotional connectedness between Singaporeans with their Internet access. Beginnings Before the Internet, Singapore was the first country in the world to launch an interactive information service to the public which included pornographic images. A service known as Teleview was jointly developed by Telecom Authority of Singapore and GEC Marconi of the UK. The service started trials during late 1987 using specifically designed terminals. This was expanded in 1989, and eventually, as personal computers became more capable, there was a software-hardware edition made available for the PC. Early service providers for editorials were Singapore Press Holdings, Housing Development Board and Singapore Stock Exchange, which provided a range of services, including general news, business news, housing lots and selection lists, real-time stocks and shares prices. Teleview was initially set up as a public service at the same time Singapore Telecom was formed in 1992 from the business arm of TAS, whereas TAS remained as the statutory regulatory authority. Subscribers connected to the Teleview, now defunct, service by Singtel, via a dial-up connection initially by 1200-2400 bit modems V22 biz and then later via 9600-14400 kilobits per second modems. Pages with photographic images were sent to the terminal by full-field teletext transmissions from dedicated data inserters, UHF TV transmitters. Subscribers initially paid no time-based usage fee for this service. However, later charges, on top of telephone line charges were levied. A later development from Teleview provided an interfaced connection to the Internet. Subscribers were given access to the Internet via a text-only terminal, email was accessed by Pine, and web pages were viewed by links. Subsequently, Teleview was rendered obsolete, and Singnet started offering to the Internet via slip, PPP over modem. Dial-up access Access to the Internet via Teleview Singnet evolved to a full-fledged dial-up service known as Singnet, a subsidiary of Singtel. The formerly private TechNet network was purchased by Pacific Internet. A third ISP was Cyberway, it was eventually purchased by Starhub on 21 January 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Broadband access 
In a government-led initiative to connect the island in a high-speed broadband network using various mediums such as fiber, DSL and cable, the Singapore One project was formally announced in June 1996, and commercially launched in June 1998. By December 1998, Singapore One is available nationwide with the completion of the National Fiber Optics Network. In 1997, commercial trials for Singtel ATM based Singtel Magics service were undertaken in March, before being launched in June. Also in June, Singapore Cable Vision commenced trials for its cable modem-based services, before being commercially deployed in December 1999. Singtel's ADSL service was subsequently rolled out on a nationwide scale in August 2000. In 2006, M1 introduced its broadband services. Current developments In January 2001, the Broadband Media Association was formed to promote the broadband industry. By April the same year there were six broadband Internet providers, with the total number of broadband users exceeding 300,000. Pacific Internet introduced wireless broadband services in October 2001. In December 2006, Infocom Development Authority of Singapore IDA introduced a program named, ''Wireless at SG''. It is part of its Next Generation National Infocom Infrastructure Initiative. It offers everyone free wireless access in high human traffic areas, including the central business district, downtown shopping belts like Orchard Road, and residential town centers. The access speed has been doubled to 1 megabit per second since 1 September 2009 and once again doubled to 2 megabits per second in April 2013. The free service will continue until 31 March 2017. In early September 2010, Internet service providers in Singapore rolled out the next generation nationwide broadband network. Next Gen NBN service plans. The Next Gen NBN is Singapore's nationwide ultra high speed fiber network. It offers pervasive, competitively priced broadband speeds of up to 1 gigabit per second at comparable prices to ADSL and cable connection. Deployed 75% nationwide as of August 2011, Next Gen NBN is on track to achieve its target of 95% coverage by mid-2012. In November 2014, ViewQuest unveiled plans for a 2 gigabits per second fiber broadband service for households in Singapore, offering the country's fastest internet connection in the market. In March 2015, the service was officially launched making it the world's fastest home broadband plan alongside Japan. Cable and ADSL services were withdrawn permanently in June 2016, with existing customers slowly being phased out. Singtel has announced complete shutdown and transfer of its ADSL customers by April 2018. In August 2016, Colt launched dedicated bandwidth, business-grade Internet services for enterprises in Singapore. Censorship 
In Singapore, Internet services provided by the three major Internet service providers are subject to regulation by the Media Development Authority to block a «symbolic» number of websites containing «mass impact objectionable» material, including Playboy, YouPorn and Pornhub. ISPs There is a category about Internet Service Provider, see, Category, Internet Service Providers of Singapore Optical Fiber Broadband Providers Topic Networking Company Netlink Trust, formerly OpenNet, Passive Infrastructure Company, Netco, Wholesale. Topic Operating Companies Nucleus Connect Active Infrastructure Company, Opco, Wholesale commenced commercial operations on 31 August 2010 Singtel Active Infrastructure Company, Opco, Wholesale deployed on 31 August 2010 M1 Active Infrastructure Company, Opco, Wholesale deployed in September 2011 My Republic Active Infrastructure Company, Opco deployed in 2013 ViewQuest Active Infrastructure Company, Opco, Wholesale deployed in the second half of year 2010 Colt Active Infrastructure Company, Opco, Wholesale, deployed in August 2016. Topic: <inaudible> Retail Service Providers. M1 300 megabits per second, 500 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second, 2 gigabits per second, 5 gigabits per second, 10 gigabits per second. Singtel 500 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second, 10 gigabits per second. Starhub 500 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second. Pacific Internet 10 megabits per second to 1 gigabit per second My Republic 1 gigabit per second 2 gigabits per second Superinternet 100 megabits per second 10 gigabits per second ViewQuest 1 gigabit per second 2 gigabits per second 10 gigabits per second Colt 2 megabits per second to 1 gigabit per second. Topic: Retail service providers for fixed location, hotel, dorms, SBO license prepaid. Bizgram, Gnet, Vernet. Topic: Wireless at SG Wi-Fi operators, free access, up to 5 megabits per second. M1, Singtel, Starhub, My Republic, Wi-Fi Topic: Mobile broadband, 3G, 4G LTE network, provider, Singtel, Starhub, M1, Circles, Life, MVNO, Zero Mobile, MVNO.
zero one MVNO My Republic MVNO Topic IXPs There are currently multiple Internet exchange points available in Singapore Singapore Internet Exchange SGIX www.sgix.sg Singapore Open Exchange socks www.socks.net.sg Equinix Internet Peering Exchange EIE www.equinix.com C. Category, Internet Exchange Points in Singapore <laughs>